Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Solo Keys V2. This is a security key that allows you to add two-factor authentication to any account, including, say, Google, Gmail, uh, so on and so forth. So what it helps you do is encrypt and add another layer of security instead of relying only on a password. You can also set it up with this physical security key such that you have to plug this into your device and then kind of tap on the sides to confirm before the account to allow you to log in. So say a malicious hacker uh, has access to your password, they still can't get into your account unless they also have your exact key that you might be carrying with you. So it just adds another layer of security, especially these days as we have more and more online accounts and digital profiles. I think it's more important for everyone to take security seriously and that's where something like this can definitely make a bit of a difference. There is a version for example that also has NFC built in which means you can also use it with your smartphone. If your phone has NFC for instance and you're trying to log into Gmail from your phone aside from entering the password you can also tap the key on the side and then it will confirm and get you signed in. There are competitors to security keys like this on the market already. One of the more famous brands is called YubiKey. Now what makes Solo Keys unique is it claims to be the world's first open sourced Fido2 security key. The part that's open source might sound a little counterintuitive, but essentially what it means is the entire code for the firmware actually located on the company's public GitHub. So you're able to download it, for example, and kind of see you know, how it's actually working and other community members can verify that indeed it is being transparent and it's uh, you know working exactly as intended and that there will be no back doors because everything can be seen easy to pop onto a keychain and carry with you and there's also another variant that has a USB type C port as well since not all devices have a standard type A port anymore for type C ultra books and laptops again it is, is using the strongest security supporting what's called the Fido 2 standard here's a few different versions as aforementioned with different tips and it's officially supported and will work seamlessly, really easy with all of these services and more, including, again, your Google accounts, Facebook, Twitter, all have integration that will work with this out of the box. AWS, Amazon also work, Salesforce, different uh, web browsers, GitHub. Again, the list just goes on and on. This is technically the second generation model of their security key, so that's why it's called the V2. And uh, what it really adds this time is a slightly different hardware design. The security key now has touch-based keys instead of a physical button. So, for example, when you plug this into your computer and say you're trying to log into your Gmail, uh, what you have to do is not only plug it in, but when it prompts you and says, do you want to log in, you have to tap on the key. And so it has these touch conductive keys on the side that you can tap on the top, the side here or on the tip. And as long as your finger is touching any of these spots, it will register that as a confirm. That's a difference with the version one and many of the other Yubi keys that have a physical button that clicks in, they have to press on the top. So although a physical button has a bit more of tap tactile sensation because when you are plugging it into your computer and pressing down, it also exerts a bit of force and it's easier for you to snap or break the USB port when it's plugged in. So by having a touch sensor, you don't have to apply as much force and it's going to be a bit more gentle and easy to kind of continue using it for the years to come. You can see there is a grip on the outside of the key, which can be also uh, customized to your favorite color, it comes in different packs, so you can change it and you know have a different color for different purposes. We can observe that this is what it looks like, almost semi-transparent, although there is a protective film on top. You can make out the microcontroller and the printed uh, kind of boards on here. It is very compact and there's kind of a B logo on the other side. Last but not least, this is fully reversible as far as the USB tip is concerned. You can see there is a kind of printed circuitry on both sides. So regardless if you plug it in like this or the other side, they will still work. Now here's a quick demo of how it works in terms of the setup and how it functions. We can open up say Gmail and if we jump into our Google account settings and under security tab, what you'll typically find here is the ability to turn on or off two-step verification. So if I tap on this, and initialize this by adding an extra layer of security, tap on get started, you'll be presented with several different options. So by default, one of the methods for two-factor authentication is using your phone. So for example, they will send you a code onto your cell phone number and you have to enter that code to log in in addition to your regular password. That is one method. That's better than nothing, but from a security perspective, it's still less secure than having a physical key like this. So for example, what we want to now select instead of 
of the two-step verification using phone is show more options. And under here, we can tap on security key. So after tapping on this, you'll it'll prompt you and say, do you have your security key with you? It will now prompt us to touch the gold conductive area of the solo key. And once we do that, we can now see that it will be recognized. And afterwards, everything has been set up. So the touch key here has been registered. We can set up a name here for this uh, particular key. For example, uh, we can call it solo keys or my solo key. And afterwards, we can just tap on done and everything will be saved and set up. All you need to do is plug it in, touch it, and you're in, kind of like a fingerprint scanner, instead of having to also go through your phone and then tap on different apps. It's a bit more complicated. This one here, it really is just plug and play. Now as a demo, let's try opening up an incognito tab in the browser. So let's say if I was on a different computer and wanted to now sign into my account, I would need to still enter in the physical password. And then on top of that, it will uh, tell us to plug in the key and also touch on the controls on the side. And once it has been tapped and confirmed, you'll see it pop up. That means that it's been verified. And now finally we can log in. Without accessing to this key and touching the sides, it won't allow us to bypass and get into the account. And since we went through that registration, basically it knows that this is the key unique to you and your account. If someone has another solo key and plugs it in, it's not going to work. It only works with the one that you have registered and set up. And um, overall, again, the process is quite simple. Afterwards, unplug it and you're done. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on look at the solo keys version 2. Again, this product is quite simple, but it can be great if you want to you know, further add security onto any account that supports two-factor authentication using a security key key. The solo key v2 just adds a few more fun colors using its sleeves as well as goes for a touch sensitive control instead of a physical button. So if interested you can check out more details in the links below for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.